Okay guys, we're gonna talk about the case uh, where we have a stator that is shorted to ground. However, uh, a customer tests the voltage and a test grate when it is unplugged from the regulator, but it does not work correctly when it is plugged into the regulator. Okay, so here we have a stator that the stator itself is not grounded. It's working perfectly, the resistance is good. Here I have it hooked up to a connector and it is not plugged in to the system, to the regulator, okay? And this meter right here is showing our AC voltage. We're monitoring the voltage coming out of the stator. This is just like a customer would test it uh, running on their motorcycle. Okay, so in this case, the stator is not grounded and we get good voltage out of it and everything looks fine. Okay, so let's see what happens if the stator was grounded. So what I'm going to do uh, is ground one of the stator leads. The stator is mounted, uh, is a metal core obviously, and it's mounted to all this metal. And these yellow wires here I have attached to the metal uh, as well. So when I attach this yellow wire to one of the stator leads, I'll be grounding one of uh, the coils of the stator. So let's see what happens to the voltage when I do that. Again, it is not plugged into the regulator, so there's no load on it. Okay, I hope this is so I can show both. Okay. I now have it grounded and there's no change. So I have it touching the stator lead there. No change in the voltage. I'll unground it. Same. And I'll ground it again. Same thing. Okay. So that tells us when we're telling a customer to test the voltage of the stator, it doesn't matter if it's grounded or not. We're not going to detect a problem. It'll work either way. Okay, so now we're going to plug in the stator to the regulator, and the regulator is hooked up to our battery system on the test bench through all this stuff. Okay, and the negative side of the regulator, just like on all the battery systems on a motorcycle, the negative side of the battery, which is this guy, is grounded to the frame of the motorcycle. Well, in our case, the frame of the motorcycle is all the metal here of the test bench. Okay, so first I'm gonna plug the stator in so it has a load on it and it's connected to the system and will be charging our battery, but it will not be shorted. Now, we'll see the voltage here is still around 20. The voltage will drop a little bit when I plug it in because it has a load on it, and it should. The voltage should go down. It shouldn't go down to zero, but we'll see it drop. Okay, so you see when I plugged it in, it dropped to about 10 volts. That's totally reasonable. So now we can see that I have the stator plugged in to the regulator. We'll see that we're still getting a reasonable voltage out of the stator. And we're still measuring on these uh, two leads, we're measuring our voltage. Okay, so now here's what happens when the stator is grounded and it is connected to the regulator, which has a path to ground back through the negative terminal of the battery. Without looking at it closely, I'll show you the meter. See the voltage drop instantly? You can see here that I have it grounded. Remove the ground, voltage comes back up. Grounded, voltage is gone. Alright, so you can see that if we have a short to ground in the stator and it's connected to the regulator, and therefore has a path to ground back through the battery negative terminal, it kills the output of the stator. And if I go back to the first case where the stator was unplugged from the regulator, note I still have it grounded, it makes no difference to the voltage, test perfectly fine. Okay, so hopefully that illustrates the case we were talking about where a short to ground in the stator um, can not be detected just by measuring the voltage, um, but will cause a problem when there is a load uh, when it's plugged in. Okay, see ya.